So there is an interesting group activity, one situation in which a flight operating a bus 320 from Delhi to Dubai currently cruising at flight level 370 and there are 160 passengers on board. Now the current situation is Dubai airport has just closed due to dense fog and visibility expected to remain below minimums for the next three hours. And your fuel remaining is 5.2 tons. The minimum fuel required to reach Dubai is 3.8 tons. Alternate options are Muscat, which will require 2.5 tons, Abu Dhabi, which require 3.0 tons, holding fuel 0.3 tons. Additionally, one passenger has fallen ill, suspected food poisoning. Now, you have to decide in a team which airport will you divert to and why. How will you communicate your decision to ATC, cabin crew and passengers? What safety and operational steps will you take before descent? And uh, this is what the group activity is. So it's a diversion decision and you have to take it collectively. So here, group activity starts now. So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ananya. And uh, today we are gathered here for a thrill discussion. Uh, so we have been given a situation where we are flying from Delhi to Dubai. But uh, due to some adverse weather conditions in Dubai, we are required to uh, divert to an alternate airport. So we have been provided with uh, two alternates, uh, Muscat and Abu Dhabi. And uh, the fuel required to uh, reach both airports have also been given. So we are required to come to a conclusion as to which airport we will divert to. And um, how we will uh, inform the other crew members about our decision. So we have been given 10 minutes to come to a conclusion. Uh, before that, before going to the group discussion, I'd like uh, someone to volunteer for the time check and conclusion. I'm Rohan. I'll take a I'll push. Hi, I'm Kushi. I'll be doing the time check. Thank you. So I guess we'll start the uh, group discussion. Okay. Uh, starting with the girls' bomb. I would like the, if I were a pilot, I would uh, go to the nearest airport because considering that a person is ill, I would uh, look for an airport which is nearest to me and even if you see we have 5.2 tons plus 0 0.3 tons of uh, holding fuel so uh, even if you land in the nearest airport which is Muscat so around 2.5 tons of fuel is consumed and we still have around uh, 2.7 tons plus the 0 0.3 of, of holding fuel so, in, in the very worst case, we can still land in Abu Dhabi as well. So, considering all that, I would like the pilot to do his due diligence by uh, landing in the nearest airport. Completely, I'm doing with you. And also, uh, since Abu Dhabi and Dubai, they are very close. That tank in Dubai, there is dense fog. The dense fog can anytime, uh, like, go to Abu Dhabi. And then their, the visibility conditions over there will also worsen. But since Muscat is a little bit more far, I think it is better if we go over there and also since a passenger is ill or uh, it like immediate medical attention needs to be given to that passenger so in that case the pipe in command needs to get the pan 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 uh, command and also ask for direct vectors from the ATC so in that case I think it is much better if we divert tools yeah I do agree to my friend just as she has mentioned that uh, since the dense fog at uh, uh, at Dubai can actually move to Abu Dhabi and uh, the uh, vectors of Maspat are quite far like it's like 283 miles away so it would be a better decision to move towards Maskat and since we also have an ill passenger on board I feel it is also necessary for us to inform the cabin crew to take care of the person since it is not a very immediate uh, requirement of descent so I think we can easily uh, land at Muscat and we'll still have fuel for holding in case if we need to. I completely agree to your point and as you said uh, food poisoning cannot be considered as a medical emergency but still taking into account a uh, passenger comfort and uh, other such uh, parameters we should uh, adhere to it and we should land at the nearest possible airport uh, which is Muscat in this case. I also completely agree with my friend uh, as she is that we should completely run to Muscat and it's the nearest airport and medical facilities should be prepared before reaching the Muscat airport. We should inform the ADC and the cabin crew also. Uh, I also completely agree. Considering the uh, visibility conditions, we should divert to uh, Muscat and uh, also taking in 
no, the ill passenger. Uh, we can also request for, uh, ask for any doctor on board so that if any uh, assistance can be provided to the passenger. And adding to her point, since um, it's food poisoning, it can also happen. It has not been informed yet, but some other passenger could also, because the food on board is the same. So if the passenger has got food poisoning from the food on board, then some other passenger can also pick, pick, swing, pick from that glass. So I do agree. Another point that I'd like to add is we have already informed the cabin crew about the situation and they are handling the stuff and about the passengers I feel uh, in order not to create a panic among them to declare a medical emergency on board I feel it is easier to uh, tell them that we are diverting new weather it would not create emergency among the passengers and they can in the, uh, have their flight with more peace Yeah, uh, like she said, I would also agree with her point. Going with... Uh, Sorry to interrupt, five minutes has passed. So, I would also suggest the same thing for the pilot to, you know, take a call and inform the cabin crew about uh, the condition instead of, you know, uh, panicking the passengers by, you know, saying there's a medical emergency and stuff. So, I would even like the pilot to do the same thing by informing that the weather is not okay and we are about to. We totally agree with that. Be uh, as a pilot, I always do that because hmm, hmm, too much get um, only need two point five tons. So I I will land on master. Next up. Another point that I feel we should discuss is about the safety of the flight that we have to land safely. So we should inform the ATC prior, just as we had discussed, to prepare for medical emergency in case the condition of the patient gets worsened. Yeah, similarly, we should also inform the CRM about the food safety and conditions as well because this is not something which you can take a toll on. So because even pilots eat the very maybe not the same food but at least the food cooked by the same management so i would even suggest the people to inform the cr the mass wage and since it is a medical emergency our flight will be uh, given the utmost priority and also since mask protein needs 2.5 tons of fuel uh, so being like fuel is um, wise it is also the safest option do we all agree on landing at muscat yes, yes. Since little time is left, like about three minutes, so I feel we should move towards the conclusion. Uh, coming to the conclusion, as we all have uh, given our perspectives about uh, this scenario, I would conclude this with a very uh, cut short points that we, ha we all have chosen to go to the nearest airport, which is Muscat, when we'll be remaining with uh, nearly about three, three tons of fuel, which can be used in a worst case scenario if we are going to land in another alternate airport, that is Abu Dhabi. So that is the first point. And then coming to the second thing is the pilot can take command by, you know, giving call signs such as pan, pan, and or, uh, you know, the required calls. And they are also supposed to make sure that the passengers are not uh, panicked or uh, uh, scared of what the situation is going on. And uh, take coming to the food safety, in future, the pilot has to be, you know, the CRM has to be more aware of the um, food and safety concerns. And uh, since the passenger is also ill, we would like to land in Muskin. This is our conclusion. Thank you for your fruitful talks. Yeah. Great. So, how was it? Good. So, did you learn like critical thinking or decision making out of this or out of this scenario? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what went well in this group activity? Tell me. Everybody, yeah, you. Everybody agreed to each other's points very beautifully. There was no clashes and things that's no. Good. Good. Okay, what didn't went well in this group activity? What didn't go well? We could have thought of more fun. Okay, what else? Yeah, there were some repetitive points I agreed with. Uh, we could have come up with a little more 
It's good, no? If if you can, some some give some more points, okay? So let's not, uh, I mean, you know, and and there was chance also, okay? Yes, Raj Rani. So I would have, you know, I was expecting or I would appreciate more points from you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Lakshita, same goes for you. Okay. Uh, what happens, Suti? Sir, my point on this is. Okay. So my father is looking at me. So, but 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 do you know what can be the consequences of that? It was my first result. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, my idea is just to to tell you that even if you uh, uh you know if the points were repeated, up still rephrase it and deliver it. Okay. Yeah. So next time onwards, I want you to give me ten points. I'm not saying in the actual in the in the actual group activity you give ten points. It's just for the practice. I want you to give ten points. Okay. Consciously, you have to give me ten points. Okay. Yes, Mohammed Sinan. Only one point. What happened? Mm, this is my first time, and I hope I can make improvement. Definitely. Okay. So that's okay. Um. Uh. So next time again, same thing. I expect the same thing from you. Okay. So Khushi, Rima, Ananya, and Rohan, you're cleared. Okay. So your group activity practice with me is optional now. Okay. It's not a mandatory. Okay, so you're cleared. However, if all four of you, I want to do more practice with me. So as the group have decided that they will divert to musket, and which seems to be the most reasonable and the bestest option, as far as the fuel is concerned, because musket required only two point five turns, leaving a comfortable buffer, and then weather. Uh, you know, musket generally have a stable weather and less congestion compared to Abu Dhabi and Doha. Medical case shorter diversion minimizes passenger health risk. So in that case, they have done so well, and I hope that you are learning from this group activity. So we keep doing this, you know, activity, this decision making, so that the students can develop critical thinking and decision making skills. And see you in the next video. If you are someone who are really hesitant and underconfident about a group activity interview and about the candidate pilot program selection process, you just practice, 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 and you'll be able to clear it. See you. I'm Captain Devil Sony, and uh, bye bye. Take care. Wish you the best.